Alright folks, we're going to take a look at page uh, 378, uh, number 4D. So they've given us this function and they want us to find the critical points and if those critical points uh, give us a local max or local min. Okay, so first thing we have to do is find the derivative. Okay, so here we have to use the chain rule. So think of this as ln u. So the derivative of ln u is 1 over u. So 1 over x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x. And then we have to multiply that by the derivative of u with respect to x. So that's just 3x squared uh, minus 6x minus 9. Okay, and we have to determine when that derivative is equal to 0. So we'll factor the numerator here. So 3, and that gives us uh, x squared minus 3x, sorry, minus 2x minus 3. Okay. Let's keep going here. We've got 3, and this factors nicely to x minus 3 and x plus 1. Okay, so here we can see that the derivative is equal to 0 when x is equal to 3 and x is equal to negative 1. Okay. Now, before I go on to see whether either of these is a local extremum, uh, we really need to check if these two points are actually independent. Now, the reason why uh, I worry about that is because we know that uh, logarithms are only um, defined where the input is positive. Okay, so it could be that one of these two numbers or both of those numbers uh, give us uh, a negative or zero input to our logarithm function, and that would mean function don't exist there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to determine the uh, domain of the function, okay? So I need to figure out where this thing is positive. So let's uh, factor it. So we've got x, we're left with x squared minus 3x minus 9, okay? And I could see that that's not uh, factorable. So I'm going to have to use a quadratic formula here. So x is equal to uh, negative negative 3. So 3 plus or minus square root of b squared, so 9, minus 4ac, so 1 and negative 9, so it's going to be b squared plus uh, 4 times 9, so 9 plus 36, here let me actually write it down, so 9 plus 36 over 2a, so here we've got 3 plus or minus square root of 45 over 2, okay, now let's just see what that's approximately equal to. Okay, so 3 plus square root of 45 divided by 2, that's about 4.8. And here we've got 3 minus square root of 45 divided by 2, so we've got negative 1.8. Okay, so if I want to determine when this expression up here is positive, now, since I'm going to lose the function, notice that it's a cubic with a positive leading coefficient. So if I want to figure out where this is positive, I can make a number line. Okay, the zeros are negative 1.8, 0, and 4.8. And since it's a cubic with a positive leading coefficient, I know it's going to have this form here. So it's only positive in this interval and then greater than 4.8. And I notice here that uh, our first value, 3, is not going to be in the domain of the function, okay? Because this expression here is going to be negative when x is equal to 3. So I have to eliminate this possibility, whereas x equals negative 1 is in the domain of the function, okay? Because the input is positive there. So the only thing I really have to check is, is in and around negative 1, okay? So... Here, I want to put in numbers that would make sense. So here, uh, if I take the derivative and I put in, say, negative uh, 1.5, okay, still in the domain. So if we put in negative 1.5 into the um, derivative here, okay, I know that the denominator is going to be positive. We've already established that because that's exactly the same as a function. So that's going to be positive. Okay, if I put in negative 1.5, I get a negative number here, and I also get a negative number here. Negative 1.5 plus 1 is still negative. So negative times negative is positive, 
So I end up getting positive to the left. Now let's check uh, something like uh, negative 0 0.5, which is still in the domain. So I know this is going to be positive again. And uh, negative 0.5, so this is going to be negative, and negative 0.5 plus 1 is positive. So the result is going to be a negative number, because I have negative over positive. Okay, so since this is changing from increasing to decreasing, I know that we have a local max at x equals negative 1. And since they want the actual point, let's stick this into the uh, function to determine the y value. So ln of negative 1 cubed minus 3 times negative 1 squared minus 9 times negative 1. Okay, so ln, whoops, let me just move that down. So what do we have here? Negative 1, uh, this is going to be minus 3, and this is going to be plus 9. Okay, so in the end we have ln negative 1, this is negative 4 plus 9 is 5. Okay, now since this is not, uh, uh, this is going to be an irrational number, I'm going to leave it as is. So the point at which we have our local max is at uh, negative 1. Okay, so let's just review this problem here, and I'm just going to pan out so that you can see the full solution. Okay, do as best as I can to pan out the full solution. So the first thing, as we usually do, take the derivative to find the critical points, okay, and then determine whether the sign changes across the critical point, okay? What was different in this problem here is that because we have a function that's not defined over all real numbers or where the uh, uh, discontinuities are very clear, uh, we needed to do some work to determine the actual domain of the function, and that eliminated one of the values that made the derivative uh, uh, equal to zero. Okay, so again, I'll just pan out so that you can see the full solution. Okay, that's it.